Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Wednesday in Holy Week. Mass Gospel set out the last week of Jesus' life. There are many stories, and we have chosen some of them in this Holy Week to help us reflect on the journey to the cross. Where Christ walk, we will follow. Where Christ stumbles, we will stop. Where Christ cries, we will listen. Where Christ suffer, we we ought. When Christ die, we will bow our head in sorrow. Where Christ rises again in glory, we will share his endless joy. Love is his way, the truth of God among us. Our reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 12, from verses 41 to 44. And it is thus. As Jesus sat near the temple treasury, he watched the people as they dropped in their money. Many rich men dropped in a lot of money. Then a poor widow came along and dropped in two little copper coins worth about a penny. He called his disciples together and said to them, I tell you that this poor widow put more in the offering box than all the others. For the others put in what they had no spare, what they had to spare on their riches. But she, poor as she is, put in all she had. She gave all she had to live on. Amen. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has given more than all the others who are making contributions. For they gave a tiny part of their surplus. But she, as poor as she is, has given everything she had to live on. Do you ever feel like you have nothing to offer? Reading this passage reminded me of an ugly incident that happened some years ago. When one of my friend's wife had a cancer and she was admitted at the London Hospital at Alley Street. Many of her friends from Nigeria were contributing money to help him. But unfortunately, that time, I cannot afford it. When I was thinking over of what to do, I remember Apostle's four conversation with the lame man by the pool, where he said, Sliver and gold I have none, but what I have I give thee. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Looking through this, I realized that I had the time that I can be going down there to visit her. This I did. I make sure I regularly visited her at the hospital on her sick bed. Pray for her, talk with her, and after some time I will leave and go home. Luckily, she survived it. But after a year, she had to relapse. And sadly, she passed on. But to my surprise, on the day she was buried, 
when the husband was giving the vote of thanks, after thanking everyone for their contribution and their support, he then turned the spotlight onto me, elogizing me and praising me, being me a wonderful person that I have been with him both in the hospital and at home throughout a wife illness. I can also imagine how the widow felt that day in the temple, watching others pass by on their way to the collection box, as she watched them donate last sum of money to the temple fund, and making sure everyone see their generosity. Just like me. I wouldn't be surprised if the widow felt embarrassed and inadequate. But she has got other options. She could have kept the money for food or other amenities or left the temple. But instead, she chose to offer what she had. Quietly dropped in her two little coins and went away. But Jesus saw. And God sees the heart. God sees our struggle and he know the pressure we face and he value it when we offer what we have to him, no matter how little it may seem. You may feel like you don't have much to offer, but why not offer what you do have to him today? Give a small amount of money to help a good cause. Take a few minutes to pray for someone in need. Offer a kind word or a smile to someone who could need some encouragement. He sees our little offering and he value them. And the impact can be greater than where we ever know. Let us pray. O oh Christ, who be rich for our sake was made poor. King of glory, who did will to become the man of sorrows. Teach us to serve you in the person of our needy brothers and sisters. People that are weak, suffering, or disregarded. Help us, inspire us. And give us the grace to be your hand and feet in caring for them. Amen. We now sing our hymn, Spirit of the Living God.
Let us together share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.